Sir, I'd like to ask you uh, a bit about your background, which I find quite interesting. Uh, I saw an interview uh, conducted of you by Alex Remolino in 2006 September. Yes, sir. Alex Remolino is of Bulatlat, uh, um, identified with uh, the alternative uh, media. Um, in that interview, he, he painted the picture of you that, that does seem quite... Uh, I don't know if this is a fair assessment. It, it, it seems a bit contradictory to some positions that you seem to espouse now. For example, I understand from that, from that article that uh, Noli Kapulong is your uncle, Noli Kapulong of uh, Bayan Muna and uh, 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 a few other organizations uh, from the left. And that uh, you wrote an open letter against the killing of uh, your uncle and that caused your removal from uh, the the Philippine Military Academy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, also, some statements that you made in that article. Um, one time I saw him, meaning uh, Kapulong, in Kalamba. He was pushing for his views for the betterment of the nation. That's when I realized he was an activist. Yes, sir. And uh, you seem to speak of uh, Kapulong as somebody that you looked up to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, also, you said this. Recently, UP was also branded as a training ground for destabilizers. We can say that such statements are irresponsible. Yes, sir. I said that in 2006. 2006, yeah. But uh, if, if, I, if I put those statements in 2006 together with your statements uh, in the last few years, um, was there a change from your point of view uh, in, in how you look at activists, how you look at the left, how you look at uh, the alleged destabilizers? Yes, sir. I think uh, now, after maybe, what, 15 years, I think I understand how uh, the leftist groups uh, orient uh, students. I was a member of the League of Filipino Students. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, I know. Mm. So she was not a member of the military. Or, but I can, I can uh, read between the lines uh, with her statement. You were mm. with LFS when you were in Los Baños? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This was before you went to the PMA? In, uh, I was in UPLB before PMA. Before mm. you went to the PMA? And my uncle was uh, Bayan Muna Regional Coordinator, Regional Coordinator in Southern Tagalog, a hotbed. So for... what happened? So, oh, yeah. So uh, uh, <laughs> is there consistency here or do you change your mind? Uh, what happened? What happened? I, I think, uh, I don't know, I, uh, they orient students on, uh, on how to fight the government. They, they arouse your emotions on nationalism, on how to blame everything to the government. You know, my uncle was a Bayan Muna Regional Coordinator. He was killed in the... In 26 May? In the city. He was ambushed. That's a different, uh, different situation from what I'm uh, telling, telling everybody now, that uh, we need to monitor those who are in the mountains, those who are bearing arms. That's why I, I told you, ma'am, even if you're planning to kill the president, even if you're planning to ambush, stage uh, terroristic acts and uh, to support the new people's army, that's not yet a crime, diba? If you bear arms, if you're caught, if you, the intelligence uh, apparatus of the government uh, discovers that you are training, bearing arms against the government, that's the only thing that I'm raising. Government scholars who are trying to bear arms or bearing arms. Yes, sir. Well, th that much is clear already. Uh, yes, people who bear arms uh, against the government, th that's what you're, you're fighting against. Yes, w What about people who consider themselves as activists? Uh, people who are sometimes labeled as destabilizers without, without bearing arms? Uh, yes, sir. People who go out in the streets, people like, uh, people like uh, Noli Kapulong. Th there's no problem with that. I'm telling you, uh, if you're just uh, an activist, if you're demonstrating, if you're calling for the resignation of government officials, the president, me, other gov government officials, there's no problem with that. That's part of democracy. You're raising your point. When you were LFS member, you considered yourself an activist? Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I think uh, my batchmates, uh, maybe... I think two or three of them are already killed mm. as NPA rebels. That's why, from my own experience, I can uh, directly debate with the LFS uh, spokesperson.